Hello everyone, this is David from uh, goldstartool.com and today I'm going to show you two things. Uh, number one, I'm going to go over a couple of uh, plate and feed dogs for industrial single needle sewing machine. And number two, I'm going to show you how to change uh, the plate and feed dog. Very easy. Um, so, this the machine that we're working on today is the Juki DDL-5550N. This is the... Uh, same as 8700, but this is made in Japan. This is the only single needle industrial machine that is made in Japan by Juki. We're working on this one, but it's the same as the DDL 8700 or 8700-7, or Tech 9000C or 8700. All the single needle industrial sewing machines have the same plate and feed dock. Uh, but they come in different sizes. I already uh, explained that it in, in a different video, but today I'm gonna go over this. Uh, so, these are all the same food, I mean plate, but different sizes. They have the numbers in the back. Um, the different is the whole size for the needle, like this is a extra fine, and this is, we call this uh, small, medium, and then you have large and you have extra large. So they go with different type of uh, feed dog too. So these are totally different. The same size, meaning it will fit the machine, but inside the feed dog and plates are different. Besides this type of regular plate and feed dog, we also have a Teflon feet for sewing uh, very fine material or leather or you know swimwear elastic so they go with each other see this teflon coated uh and they're for uh spandex nylon leather um so it's fine it's very fine it won't rip your uh, fabric and it's very easy you don't uh, skip any stitching this is a very good uh, type of plate and feed dog to have. Beside that, we have this rubber feed dog. See, it's, you don't even have a teeth here. It's rubber. It's rubbery. So that number is 149057, and it only goes with the regular feed plate, which is 147150. One four seven one five zero, and this is so. This the rubber type is for again for leather for stuff that you want it to move, but you don't want it to rip or make a hole in your fabric or leather or very fine leather or uh, you know spandexy, uh, elasticy stuff that you really have problem with. So now, and besides that, I wanted to show you that beside. For sewing gates, you could also use different type of uh, Teflon feet too. Like this is a regular one and you have a coating one and you have a coating one to the left, to the right. I have maybe 10 or 15 or even 20 different type of um, Teflon feet. So we're gonna come back here now and I'm gonna show you how to change the plate and feed dog, which is a very easy uh, change. So I, I hope the light is enough here. Uh, you want to make sure the machine is unplugged, it's not plugged in and it's not running because you don't want it, the machine to run and show your finger or hand. Uh, raise the plate. You need a long screwdriver because your screwdriver won't fit here. So you want a long one so you could just go ahead and open. See, if it was a smaller one like this one, you cannot use. You need a long one. Make sure you have a long screwdriver and fine. So very easy. Take the, and I'm doing the whole thing. You open the two screws, put them on the side, make sure you don't lose them. Open up this door and you could just Take the plate up, make sure the needle is up, 
Okay? So now you have here feed dog. If you wanted to change the plate only, you just go ahead and put in your desired plate back in there. And just close. But since we want to change the feed dog too, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to. So there are two screws here, and you could use the same type of uh, screwdriver, or can I? I need a smaller one. So, open the two feet dog. The two screw for the feed dog. And I'm gonna show you a very easy way to adjust the plate and feed dog so, uh, because the feed dog is moving all the time and the uh, plate is stationary, it's not moving. Uh, we wanna make sure the feed dog and plate are uh, working together while the machine is on. So, put the needle away, I mean the screws away, now, Get your, we're gonna try putting this rubber one on. Go ahead and adjust. And just put in your, I got a big finger for this type of, uh, hopefully I'm not gonna. Yeah, it's better to have a smaller, finger but what can I do so there are these magnetic the, the screwdriver also that are really really helpful Okay, and put the other one in. I don't know if there is enough light. I forgot to put on the light, but. Uh, here you go. Do not tie this all the way um, because it's gonna be moving. This is gonna be moving. And I wanna show you what I mean by do not tie it all the way. I'm gonna just get rid of this uh, thread for now. This one from here. Okay, and we're gonna go put the plate in there. See now, you wanted to make sure this is okay. Put it in there, put in the plate, and then play with this feed dog. Make sure it's working, it's good, and it's not hitting anything. And then while you see that, you go ahead and you Tie the the plate, I the feed dog, and now the plate. So that's how you do it. Very easy. Uh, shouldn't take you more than five minutes. Obviously, uh, maybe it took me longer. But uh, see everything falls in, in place. Again, the plate feed dog for Juki and Conso, and New Tech, Brother, Singer, as long as they're industrial sewing machine, they're all the same 
size, uh, the same part number, you could use them all for a different machine, and different styles. Uh, the only thing is different is the size of the hole because of the needles. So what we did right now, we put in the rubber one, you see? It's perfect, coming in and going, and all you have to do, close this, plug it in and use the machine. Again, that's video how to change the plate and redog on industrial sewing machine. Thank you for watching. Please send me an email. Let me know what you want me to do next for you guys. Don't forget that we have all of these items in our website, www.goldstartool.com. Please like, follow, and thumbs up, and share. Thank you for watching. This is our website, goldstartool.com.